everybody. I'm Daniel Ruth, and uh, welcome to Red Squared Audio, which is a very unusual name. Everybody goes, what's the name of your studio? It's Red Squared Audio. Um, kind of got that name in a funny way. Me and my wife are both redheads. We both perform in our band, and one of our band members used to always refer to us as Red Squared. So that's where the name came from. But uh, we have a lot of fun here. Um, we do a lot of production out of here every week. Um, we um, obviously audio production for all kinds of music. We focus mostly on acoustic music here, um, acoustic country, bluegrass, Americana, folk, that kind of thing. Um, but we've also turned out um, some very successful uh, full country albums and things like that too. So um, even had a beach band that did. Uh, was awarded uh, number one song of the year for the song they did right here. So um, I have a lot of fun with doing things with all different kinds of genres, which means we've got to have lots of stuff. And I mean, who doesn't like stuff? Who doesn't love gear? So it gives me the, uh, <laughs> the ability to flex the, uh, the, the, the gear muscle every day and, um, you know, figure out inventive ways to come up with stuff um, in a relatively small space. It's not a huge studio, but it, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I also perform with uh, my band, New Blue. Um, like I said before, my wife, she sings and plays bass. I play guitar. I um, have uh, Austin Heffelfinger that plays banjo, Justin Harrison that plays mandolin, and Andrew Dowling that plays dobo with us. And we're on the road. Uh, if we're not in here working, we're out on the road. We're on the road probably 120 dates a year, maybe uh, up to 140 sometimes. So, um, Got to plug the band, newblue.com. That's nu-blu.com. Make sure you guys go check us out. Um, everything that you hear from New Blue uh, is all, it's, it's all done right here. All the magic's done right here, mix mastered, everything. So, um, and we'll, uh, we'll show you around with the studio tour in a little bit on how we do some of that. But um, <clears throat> the other thing that we do, and this is kind of new, and it, it's really been a huge learning curve for me, especially because I've been in the audio world for uh, longer than I want to think, 20 plus years now. Um, so, you know, you get comfortable there. And now I think it's, it's it, we all know, it's going to a video world. Um, my wife, Carolyn, and I host a television show that's called Bluegrass Ridge. And we're now producing that show right here. Um, and it's been a big challenge for me because the world of television and video, there's some things that cross over, but that's a whole different world. And I was really concerned about that because, you know, it's like, well, whenever you go into that world, that, you know, not only what do I have to learn personally, but what, you know, okay, more gear, you know? Um, and I've been more than pleasantly surprised at how well um, all of my Neumann gear performs just straight across the board. You know, I, I've not, I haven't had to purchase anything extra to go into the television world. And, you know, it, it's just something as all of us as audio engineers, even five years ago, we didn't think about, hey, we're going to be producing for television or every song that we do, you know, it's going to, there's going to be a music video for it. So how are we going to have to make sure that that translates through, you know, through the television now? So um, completely different thing. It's been a huge learning curve for me, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been, it's been a good time, but, um, you know, for anybody that's out there that's looking for, you know, you're going to create your own home studio, you know, you're looking for, <clears throat> you know, as all of us do, we get online and we Google and we read reviews and we're looking for, you know, what's the best thing for this application or that application, you know, um, and I get people that ask me all the time, you know, what do you guys use? What are you doing for this? What are you doing for that? I'm like, you know, you always got to remember, you know, it, start with good gear on the front, tone in, tone out. You know, if you're getting good gear on the front side, good microphones, you're starting out right in your signal chain and then come out with something that you can reference and you can trust what you're hearing. And that's what makes all the difference in the world, whether it's audio world, whether it's video world, anything across the board, make sure 
that you know you're trusting your space you're trusting your room you've got your treatment done right and you know that you've got the gear that you can trust don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this